give me 100%, you give me 100% of you, I'll give you 200 back. I'm here. You give me 97%, and I'll give you nothing. Uh, only hope I had was selling. Was on my grind cause times was harder than the cell of flow. My mama told me never still and never tell them folks. I grew up looking up the that was selling. Oh, I was raised by the stop sign. No religion, I was getting saved by the nah. By the minute I was getting paid like the hotline. Certain rolling, things was calling. We was dot com, well connected, well respected, and well protected. And get accepted, was rejected, now they regret it. And get my message. 97% of people do. You know, and I'm here to go, look guys, you don't, you know, things, you can be this, you can do this, it's inside you. You know what? You've got good ideas. You really do. You give me 100%, you give me 100% of you, I'll give you 200 back. I'm here. You give me 97% and I'll give you nothing. That can be a bit extreme, um, but you know what he means by that, right? Yes. You know, you give me a hundred percent, I would literally get on a plane and fly to the other side of the world and be in a boardroom and I'll fucking do whatever it takes. I don't care. Because if I feel that you're like, hey man, I want in on this, you know, I want to be this person. I'm here, I'm ready to show up. You know, I know that I'm capable of more, Marty, I want to, this is what I want. And I'm like, sweet, let's get to work. Yeah, take it back to like 2010, prepping that first show with the scheme. All our reps hanging on the line, just a dollar and a dream. Started that year solo dolo, ended that year with a team. Started outside looking in, ended that year with our own scene. I was dealing with some shit then. Equal the future, unless we choose to live there. Dreams, goals, desires. This is about you. Finding your calling in life, building a, 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 an amazing career in, in every aspect, financially, something that you love to do creative. Exactly, like it means that he's not, if he's, if he's too comfortable and he's just sitting around and not much is happening, it means that he's, he's not going hard enough. But you know, that's, it's, it's different, you know, American, you know, and he's, he's achieved, um, you know, he's been in entrepreneurship for a lot of years and you know, I think that's the way he's wired as well. Sorry? Oh, do you like that, do you? Strikes me, you know, because I'm in my comfort zone. So. Well, that's what we've been talking about as as a team. We've been talking about the last couple of days, you know. Uh, you know, every time we, we generally have a breakthrough, it's when we're out of our comfort zone. That's where we do the growing. But the thing is, we don't really like to, to be outside our comfort yeah. zone. <laughs> Yeah, but see, when, when we go outside our comfort zone and, and then because it's the, the, the human brain, it wants to limit us. It wants to tell us, hey, don't do that or, you know, your friends will think this of you if you, if you become this person or if you do this. So really it's our brain that's trying to trick us, but it, deep down inside our heart wants to grow, it wants to expand, it wants to do different things.
Enter with your visit. <laughs> <laughs> It was um, Manila was it was good. It was uh, it was really exciting. It was it was awesome to get uh, to finally make it out here and experience it, meet the team, um, check out the Filipino culture, and, and and really and have a really good time with the team and, and just get to to know them and hear about their story and about what they've been through and about. You know how much the how much the work ethic and the hustle mentalities been in their lifestyle and, and their and their childhood growing up. So it, it's been really good to, to get to know them better and understand more about what drives them and and really getting them to see the true potential in themselves and now starting to believe in and creating them into the new leaders for made status and and empowering them and giving them the belief to see the potential that's that's within uh, within them um, and that's been really good and it's been really good to to see the Filipino culture uh, how much they come from a place of service and value they and, and their spirit uh, I've often talked about it over the last few days is the Filipino spirit it's you can tell they're very fulfilled, even though they might not have very much. They're very fulfilled inside, spiritually, and uh, so it's been it's been really good. Yeah. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, 'cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through For you We just got to Brockright, is that how I pronounce it? We went, uh, Brian and Ara, we went on our first flight. It was around 45 minutes, we left from Manila. And now it's Friday and we're around ready for a, an awesome weekend, team getaway. Ready to enjoy this beautiful bit of paradise and, and continue on uh, our leadership week of training we've been doing in the beautiful Philippines. Damn, I was like, thank you even hard, it's just, it's, it's surreal, this place is so beautiful.